New Alfa Romeo Stelvio SUV, engines and trim levels revealed. Julia-inspired SUV set to hit showrooms later this year. Here's all the latest news. Alfa Romeo has revealed launch specifications for the new Stelvio SUV, including two new engine options and three trim levels heading to the UK. We've already seen and covered the Stelvio in range topping, 503 BHP Quadrifoglio trim, revealed at the Los Angeles Motor Show late last year. The latest news from Alpha outlines the regular Stelvio range, which will include one petrol and one diesel engine from launch. This is Alpha's first SUV, and the firm has high hopes that it'll become its biggest seller almost overnight. The Stelvio is the second model in what's said to be a big product charge from Alfa Romeo. The company's entire fleet will be overhauled by 2020 with the inclusion of all new models. Eight new Alphas will be on sale by the end of the decade, so expect six more cars over the coming years. The Stelvio uses the latest design language established by the new Julia Saloon, boasting the same new face and tail light design. Like that car, it made its debut in range-topping Quadrofoglio form, using the same 503 BHP 2.9-liter twin-turbo V6. As such, the Porsche Macan turbo rival boasts huge performance 0 to 62 miles per hour is done in 3.9 seconds, while top speed comes in at 177 miles per hour. Alpha says it will be the fastest SUV around the Nürburgring. Now, closer to launch, more everyday engines have been revealed. A 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo with 276 bhp and a 2.2-liter 207 bhp diesel will hit the European market when the Stelvio goes on sale, though the exact UK engine lineup is yet to be finalized. Against the tape measure, the new Alpha Stelvio comes in at 4,680 mm long, 2,160 mm wide and 1,650 mm tall. That makes it almost identical in length to the Porsche, but significantly wider. Its design is heavily inspired by the Giulia Quadrifoglio, borrowing key styling cues such as the narrow lead headlamps, trademark shield-shaped grille and gaping air intakes. Body-colored side skirts with the carbon inserts, blistered wheel arches and quad exhausts are also unique to the range topper. On the standard Stelvio this extrovert styling is toned down. The minimalist, driver-focused cabin uses a mixture of wood and fabrics, though the Quadrifoglio gets carbon fiber finishes. An 8.8-inch infotainment system is housed in the center of the dash and operated via the control wheel on the center console, standard equipment on every Stelvio. The overall cabin architecture is carried over from the Julia, with the hooded instrument binnacles, undulating dashboard, and driver-focused controls. In the UK, three trim levels have been confirmed at launch. The standard Stelvio comes with 17-inch alloy wheels, while in the cabin the 8.8-inch touchscreen infotainment system is standard equipment, alongside an 8-speaker system. Safety features such as autonomous emergency braking, lane departure warning and forward collision warning make the cut, alongside conveniences like an electric tailgate, automatic lights, and wipers plus parking sensors. Stelvio supercars build on this spec with design and finish tweaks. A partial leather interior is included with 18-inch alloy wheels and steel door sill inserts. Stelvio Technica models feature 3D navigation and by Xenon headlights, though only the diesel engine will be available. A luxury pack introduces full leather seats electrically adjustable seats and real wood inserts, while a sports pack brings sports seats and a racier look and feel to the cabin. Alfa Romeo Stelvio SUV, chassis, engines, and performance. Similarities with the saloon extend beneath the skin, with the Stelvio underpinned by the same aluminium chassis made up of double wishbone front suspension and 4 and a half link setup at the rear and powered by the 503 BHP 2.9 liter twin turbo V6 in quadrifoglio form. The engine is paired with an 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox as standard, 
which Alpha claims can change gear in 150 milliseconds in race mode. Carbon ceramic brakes have also been fitted to help rein in all that power. Alpha's Q4 four-wheel drive system and torque vectoring technology has also been fitted to the Quadrifoglio. Under normal driving conditions the Stelvio sends 100% of its power to the rear axle, but the Q4 system continuously monitors torque split between the front and rear wheels. An active transfer case and front differential allow up to 50% of the engine's power to be transferred to the front axle. Combined with torque vectoring technology a first on any Alfa Romeo torque can then be optimized between the rear wheels individually thanks to two clutches in the rear axle. Two more launch engines have been confirmed for the European market. A 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol with 276 bhp mated to an 8-speed automatic gearbox and all-wheel drive as seen in the first edition version of the car will appear. Alpha claims 400 Nm of torque, as well as 0 to 62 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds and a top speed of 143 miles per hour. A 2.2 liter diesel will line up alongside it with 207 bhp and 470 Nm of torque, achieving 0 to 62 miles per hour in 6.6 seconds and a top speed of 133 miles per hour. The same engine will be available with 178 bhp further down the line, and we expect more power units to appear in the future. At the La Motor Show, Alfa Romeo Europe boss Fabrizio Cursi told Auto Express, in Europe we will have a pretty large lineup, including diesel engines and two-wheel drive. Alpha claims a perfect 50,50 weight distribution and the Stelvio tips the scales at 1,660 kg. Aluminium has been used extensively on the SUV, with a platform, engines, suspension, door, bonnet, and bootlet all made from the lightweight material. The Stelvio is expected to be the first of at least two other subs from Alfa Romeo. Reed Bigland, Alpha CEO, previously expressed an interest in developing a larger SUV based on the Maserati Levant's underpinnings. A smaller Audi Q3 SUV rival is also understood to be in the pipeline.